hey guys what's going on welcome back to the channel welcome back to the rc garage and last video i was telling you about my uh, hsp nitro rally car and all the things i want to do with it and the main thing i wanted to do was swap out the engine for a different one so to do that we first had to take out the old engine and in this video that's what i'm gonna be doing but i'm also gonna be tearing it down and just taking a look inside because I've teared engines down in the past, but they were on used cars. Like, it were, they weren't engines I used or I broke in. So, now that I have used this engine and I broke it in, I'm going to just see how everything looks internally. So, um, I'm going to be taking out the engine and tearing it down for you guys. So, you guys can just look and see. And so, I can look and see. Um... What was going on inside it's i mean it ran fine nothing was wrong with it but i just wanted more powerful engine so let's get to the teardown All right guys, so I have everything laid out here in front of me. As you guys saw, I tore down the whole engine. I have everything laid out here in front of me. I have a clutch bell right here, the shoes, um, the, the flywheel nut, flywheel, and then like the little spacer that goes onto the crankshaft right here. So I even took the crankshaft out. Here is the block with the, just the bearings left in it. Um, it looks pretty clean inside. Doesn't look too bad. Um, here's the back plate with the one-way bearing on it. 
just I just put everything together just so I wouldn't lose it. Um, that's just a pull start exhaust uh, engine mounts carburetor right here. Um, here is the piston. As you can see, it's a little dark on top um, because it's just carbon buildup. So uh, it's a little dark right there. But other than that, it looks okay. Um, here's the sleeve. Sleeve is a little dark as well from the carbon buildup. Um, it was weird. It like usually when you take the sleeve out, you know, it's not that easy to pull out. Like I was able to just pull it out, but um, so yeah, that was there. Um, here I have the head with the glow plug still in. So this is just everything torn down into its individual pieces. Um, I just wanted to tear it down just to have like a little look inside. So you can you guys see inside there? Um, little look at the crankshaft and the piston and the sleeve and just all the internals because you know I haven't taken this thing apart before. So um, and I've never taken one apart that I have broken in and used only. Like all the only other ones I took in apart were used engines. But yeah, this is what everything apart looks like. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen a lot of engines being torn down, a lot of engines separated. You probably separated the parts yourself. But um, yeah, these are just basically um, the farthest, I would say, I would say the farthest you can tear it down without taking these bearings out because there's a lot of, there's a process. Take these bearings out, they're hard to take out. So. Um, yeah, this is everything torn down out of the engine, and I can't wait to um, put a new engine in there. I don't know what I'm going to do yet still. I'm thinking of putting um, a .15, the Traxxas, the TRX .15 in there just because, um, I don't know. I don't know why. But I just that's what I thought. I just thought of putting it after looking. Um, I do need a rotary carb. So that was also the main a big reason why I wanted the point fifteen because the point fifteen has the rotary carb. Um, so there's basically two different main two different styles of carburetors. Is the rotary carb where it rotates like that to open up and close, and then there's the slide carb like on basically all my other nitro cars where it goes out this way so it goes out to open up the throttle and in to close it this one so it's closed right now and then it opens up I don't know if you can see that you see that so you can see the light coming through and then if I close it no light coming through so that's that's uh, what that is but then the slide carb goes in and out so I do need a rotary carb just because that's how these servos are set up um, but yeah, I mean, I think I can just buy a regular engine and buy a ro like a separate rotary carb. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure, actually. But <laughs> I'll have to check and uh, figure that out. But yeah, um, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I just want to show you the teardown of uh, the HSP um, engine. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.